so hello everyone and today we're live on youtube and today um yes this is the match reaction for manchester city nil arsenal nil and for me of course yes happy easter to everyone out there who's had a wonderful wonderful weekend and i do apologize that was about 50 minutes late due to obviously i'm at my parents house i have to be very 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 quiet i've been told to be very quiet so um make sure you smash that like button turn the notifications on and we're finally finally here can we have at least 20 people watching there's no excuses from anyone it is a bank holiday no excuses from anyone today let's get these 20 people watching i'm not begging or anything like that but i had people tweeting me saying to me oh you ain't gonna get 20 people watching at 11 o'clock at night well how come there's a youtuber who i know who has three for one subscribers is that 20 people watching there's no excuses but anyway this is going to be interesting words right match reaction manchester city nil arsenal nil i can't be too loud because because i've got kids who are asleep manchester city nil arsenal nil what did i say people what did i say in this fucking fan base of all people i told you that we will draw this game. Oh up, oh up. People who I betted with, oh up. Oh up right now. Because for me, right, this draw, the Man City, right? You know what? This fucking fan base on social media were expecting me to do a rant. Were expecting me, calling me a fucking flip flop saying to me, why are you not so happy with a draw? If you let me finish, people, right, I will get my words what I'm going to say, right? Because I, obviously I want to say first things first, happy Easter to everyone. But you know what? My thoughts on the game today, right? Let's get at least 20 people watching, right? There's no excuse from anyone. Keep sharing the stream, copy the link and share it. But my interesting thoughts on this game, right? I'm not going to moan. I'm not going to moan, because should I tell you why? And if Stu Saxon and any, any of them not are listening to this, right, be warned what I'm, because everybody's been waiting for this stream. Everybody's been waiting, right, for my words, what Luca AFC is. And we have found out where this Arsenal side really are. We're finally going to get the words of Luca AFC. Not going to Stockton on tees or Durham. We are finally going to get the words of what I said about this, we're going to find out where this arsehole side are. Spread the words right now. My opinions right now is, I'm very happy with a point. I am very, very, very happy with a point. Because for me, we have proved it this season, right, that we have gone to the big six and we haven't lost this season. That's why we've got one of the best defensives in the Premier League. Right? Shocking. Ship. Shambles. Shambolic. But yeah, not really. But nil-nil, right? I am so happy that we got a point. I watched the game today, right? I watched the game. My my bosses let me watch the game today when I was working. I watched it. And you know what? Right? This fucking fan base on social media saying to me that the title race is officially over. People saying that the title race is officially over. And Mel says in the comments right now, right, initially you tweeted that the title race was officially over, but the title isn't over. That was before we drew nil nil. But Mel, you need to pay up, my friend, right? Ten bucks, mate. Because for me, right, nil nil, right, people are saying, right, like I heard people saying all these fucking YouTubers are all fucking saying, Oh, nil nil. Arsenal were a disgrace. Arsenal were a disgrace. We had the better chances, and we are going to be talking about the game right now, right? And we're going to get the Arsenal lineup right now. Uh, not that one. The Arsenal lineup. Of course, the lineup was Ryo in goal, Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, Kivawar, Declan Rice, Jorginho, Martin Odegaard, Bakaya Saka, Jesus, and Havertz. For me, with that lineup, I wanted Gabriel Jesus to start. I wanted Gabriel Jesus to start that game. And Martinelli wasn't fit to play. I actually thought he was going to play Trozard. But 
for me, getting onto the performance wise, I actually think the first half, Man City were the better team. Man City were the better team from start to scratch. But overall, if you're going to talk about, well, we'll talk about overall in just a second, right? But I think for me, Man City were the better team possession wise. But there is positives to take in that game. Yes, we're not top of the league. It, but this fucking fan base, this fucking deluded clowns of fan base on social media, all hyping up and not. And for me, nobody on this fucking Arsenal Twitter fan base, right, all putting three ones, two ones, ask, oh, we get a win today. Shut your mouth, Luca. Shut your mouth, Luca. Shut your mouth. Shut up, people. Don't disrespect Man City. They're champions for a reason. I told you, people, for a start of a reason that we would draw this game. I told you, people, but this fucking fan base on social media, right, were all disrespected and cussing Man City that we were going to fucking walk them over. Are you fucking having a laugh? No wonder we don't win the league because half of this fucking fan base do not believe that they don't raise the standards of this fucking football club. <laughs> no wonder we don't win the league. But people are saying to me, back your team. Of course I was back in my team. I watched the game. I watched the game. And for me, I'm I'm not I am not moaning about the game. Because I think for me, the second half, right, we had the better chances. We had the better chances. And I'm very happy with a draw. I'm not complaining. But what I'm annoyed about is is our fucking fan base were overhyping about we were going to batter Man City. Someone said we were going to win 3-1. I'm like, fucking, where are we going to get three goals? This isn't Highbury days. Are you having a laugh? Are you having a laugh? Like, come on. Seriously, wake up. But I'm happy with a point. And, and I'm not moaning. And we're going to have a look at the Premier League table right now. Liverpool are sitting top of the league with two points clear. Um... We're still in a good position. I'm actually quite happy with the point. And since there's 17 people watching in the house, I think a lot of people are actually tuning in because they're actually not, they're not actually, they're starting to realise I'm actually trying to be positive today. And people were expecting me to do the other way around. People calling me a flip-flop during the game. You fucking stupid. But regardless to that, right, I am very, very, very happy with a point. Like... We've got one of the best defensives in the Premier League, not going to lie. Saliba and Gabriel were brilliant today, in defence-wise. The performance wasn't great, right? But that chance for me, Gabriel Jesus, he should have. I thought he was the better player in the first half at best because he was the one who was trying to fret. But the annoying thing is about that first half, we were trying to walk it in. We were trying to walk it in, and I'm thinking, why don't you just shoot? Why are you scared of Man City or something? Man City had Nathan Ake off, right, injured. They already had John Stones and Walker, and they didn't have their greatest defence. It's still a good, solid defence, but we've got the better defence on the pitch. So regardless to that, when people talk about if you want to go on and win the league against Man City, you've got to beat Manchester City. And I'm thinking, you know what? Oh, if only if Jesus was that clinical, right? I scratch myself and I go back and watch that. And I'm thinking, if only if that was maybe a Trossard, maybe a Martinelli, we would have won the game 1-0. And then we'll be talking about, wow, we're serious. But now when you have a look at that Premier League table, we're two points behind Liverpool. Now we have to rely on Liverpool losing a game. This is where people are getting a little bit sceptical, right? But the title race is not over because we didn't lose to Manchester City. We're still in the title race. We're one point ahead of them as it originally was before the game, right? But we're two points behind Liverpool. But our next Premier League game where well, we are going to talk about the fixtures. I will get people on. I will drop the link in a minute, right? But we've got to play Luton Town next home game, right? I expect us to win that game, right? We'll go top of the league for 24 hours. And then Liverpool got Sheffield United at Anfield. Liverpool will win that about 5 or 6 nil, right? And then there'll be two points clear. But here's the thing. Next weekend... 
could mean Liverpool have got Man United at Old Trafford, right? We saw what happened a couple of weeks ago. Man United beat Liverpool. Bo, United are fighting for the top four, right? And let's get the Premier League table back right now, right? United are fighting for, well, maybe not top four, but they're fighting for Europa League, right? They want to clinch that sixth spot because they're pretty much out of the top four race, right? But United are want to try and get Europa League, yeah? And try and get some sort of Europe, Europe, right? So, for me, that game could mean to them, right, United could clinch that top six because they're probably going to finish sixth this season, right? So, United, for me, could actually turn up and beat Liverpool at Old Trafford because Liverpool have played Man United twice and Liverpool haven't beaten Man United. So, Arsenal are going to beat Luton, Liverpool are going to beat Sheffield, Liverpool will be top of the league with 70 points, we'll be on 68 points, right? Then we go to the Brighton game Saturday night, right? It's a massive game, OK? And we don't know what to get from Brighton this season. They're so unpredictable. And that is going to be a tough, tough, tough game, right? And the last time we played a half-five kickoff against Brighton, we beat, we beat them 4-2, right? So if we go and beat Brighton, we go back to the top by one point. But if Liverpool draw to Manchester United, we top on goal difference because we've got six more goals than Liverpool. So we're all Man United fans on Sunday, aren't we? So I expect us to beat Luton. So to so, so save example, people, I'm actually quite calm and flex. You know what I mean? I'm not actually... I'm, mate, I've done, mate, I watched the game. I did a nine and a half hour shift. Right, I'm actually more calm that I am so happy that we drew the game against Man City. I am so happy because for me, yes, it wasn't the greatest performance. I thought individuals, I thought I thought Saka was poor today. And I'm not surprised because obviously he just he picked up a bit of a knock during the international break. Then he had to come back. He did have all that recovered and he wasn't he's played so much game time. I thought Jesus was poor in the second half. I thought Arsenal's best player, really, I've probably got to say probably maybe Jesus was in the first half. And then second half, not really anyone, really. Maybe William Saliba, because Saliba kept us in it. And Man City, for me, we had the better chance. We had the better chances over Man City. And Mel makes a very, very good point. We got six points from it. No, we did not get six points. We got four points. What are you on about? Luca is the man. Big up to William. Welcome to the chat. How are you? Go on to Charlie. Hello. What I'll do is, guys, I'll I'll drop the link after the player ratings, right? And um, and then anyone's more welcome to come on. Because how I roll on this channel, I do the player ratings myself. And then I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, come on, just let us on, Luca. We'll share your channel for you, right? But for me, what I'll do is I'm going to do the player ratings. And then from there, we'll we'll get everyone on. You are the most confused man in the world. Why am I the most confused man in the world? You don't even watch my channel, my friend. Uh, but big up to you. I hope you're keeping well. Uh, I think it's better if Saka takes a rest for Luton. 100%, mate. You got a text, bro, from Mikel Arteta. I have, actually. I actually have got a text from Mikel Arteta. People, 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 calm down. Uh, Elisa, welcome to the chat. How are you? I hope you're good. Havertz played 90 minutes, but didn't. Havertz was poor today. He was absolutely poor today. And um, for me, he was poor. And I'm thinking, look, for me, Havertz had to start this game because he was on good form. It made sense for him to start. But the only thing, I'm, look, Arteta, for me, actually made the right substitutions at the right time. I'm not going to lie. For once, I'm actually quite happy with a point because, yes, it wasn't the greatest performance. Man City were all over us in that first half. But the second half, we had the better chances. Like not The only best chance we really had was that Jesus chance where, for me, you've got to bury that. And that's why I feel like... Oh, I don't know, man, but look, the title race is not over just yet, but I just look at that Jesus chance and I'm thinking, I just feel like we might not win the league because I feel like, look, we've proved it this season, right, that 
we've proved it this season that we can score goals. We battered teams like West Ham and Sheffield United and that, right? But for me, you've got to look at it thinking, I'm thinking that Gabriel Jesus chance and I'm thinking a point is good at Manchester City. Don't get me wrong. We got a point at Anfield. And, for, and I was working it out right after the game. I was thinking, when is the last time Arsenal actually got four points over Man City? And I'm thinking, I worked it out and I did my maths. The last time we got four points in the league against Man City was the 2015-2016 season when we beat them 2-1 at the Emirates. Joel Campbell, I think he scored or was it Giroud? No, Giroud and Walcott and Yaya Torre did that little flick, right? And then we drew 2-2 at the Etihad, right? Right towards the end of the season, Giroud and Sanchez scored. That was the last time we got four points against Man City in the league. And the positives I will say about Arsenal is we're not out of this title race. We can still go on to win the league. Do I think we'll win the league? No. But we're not out of the title race. We're not out of the title race yet. We've got to come together as a fan base. There's nine games to go. We've got to hope Liverpool drop points. And we've got to win all those nine games. I said, I said, if look, if Arsenal win or draw, or if Arsenal draw to Man City and Liverpool draw a game or lose a game, we win all our nine games and score goals, we will win the league on goal difference. Because goal difference is going to be key because Liverpool are starting to catch up with our goal difference now. Niall says, Luca, it's a massive point. You're still in the title race. Not many teams will go to Man City and get a draw. Stop being negative. I haven't been negative. The only thing I've been negative is about our fan base. We're hyping it all up. You should be believing you could go and win the league. The league title's not over yet. We're two points behind Liverpool. Liverpool have got to go to Old Trafford next week. Man United have got an FA Cup and they're probably going to get Europa League next season because they're 11 points off Aston Villa and Villa were not bottling 11 points for, for the last nine games of the season. Uh, ben White in the first half. What about Ben White in the first half? Uh, go Charlie as well. Big up to people. Luca, you've got a text from Mikel uh, Melina says, big up to Chelsea fan. Welcome to the chat. How are you? Luca, you're too negative, but it's still in our hands. How am I, how am I negative? How am I negative? I've been positive in this whole stream. Explain to me why I've been negative. Have it's played 90 minutes. I've read that. Uh, smash the likes, 100%. Uh, big up to L, Tail, Cockle. If you haven't gone and subscribed to this channel, please do. Um, massive, massive Tottenham content. Oh, his channel is flying at the moment. Uh, we will take a draw, says William. 100%, mate. Uh, Manu will cook us on Thursday. Yeah, United got... Oh, United got Chelsea. Yeah, but Chelsea got nothing to play for. They're on the beach. Lucas, serious advice. Don't tweet during the Arsenal game. It kills your repetitive, your article bear. To be honest, yeah, I know it does. But I didn't really tweet as much during the game. You know, um, you know what I'm saying? Go and have a look at my tweets. Big up to viewer stands. Long time no see. Uh, hey, Molina, Jordan, welcome to the uh, No striker will haunt us. Ivan Tony should have been asked. Yeah, but we couldn't get Ivan Tony because the FFP rule. We weren't going to sell players. No one wasn't going to buy Smith Rowe in the January transfer window. No one wasn't going to. We 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 offered to sell Eddie Nketiah, but 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 nobody didn't want to buy Eddie Nketiah in the January transfer window. We didn't take the effort. We end up keeping him as a backup. The guy doesn't even get a game. That's another. That's another big mistake. I thought Havertz was uh, considered had no. Yeah, a hundred percent. Look for me, Havertz had a poor game, Rory. He couldn't get the service today. That's why. That's why I just felt like it's very difficult to break down the Manchester City side. Hey everyone, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the chat. Destroy the like button. Yeah, push the button. It's not difficult. Uh, can't see why Arteta wants a striker. Well, we're getting a striker in the summer. But everyone's hyping up this Sporting Lisbon striker. But I haven't got time to talk about that. I'm talking about the game. That's for another debate. Uh, big up, Luca. I'll add you in the group on the X if it lets me. Yeah, why not, why not mate? There's better out there than Ivan Tony. Well, yeah, there is. You know what, right? The thing is, Rory, before I, I do the um, player ratings, and then I will get, I'll, drop, I'll drop people on, is I've kind of gone off with Ivan Tony a little bit. Because ever since that Brentford game, right, I just feel like, I don't know, man. I just feel like he might not be the solution. You know, I mean, I don't think Tony's not all that. The striker who I want is Lotaro Martinez or Victor Osmian. But 
I think a lot of people are overhyping this Gukares guy. But Ben White was our best player in the first half. Yeah, in the first half he was all right, but the second half I think he was poor. The only thing I will say about Ben White is, oh, that, that's a very good shout. Out. Isaac, Isaac's he he'll be the one who I want in the Premier League. Um, Gukares or Osman or Isaac. For me, I take Isaac and Osman. Gukares not for me. Um, and I actually agree with Seb because Seb did. I need to really watch that back properly. Seb actually did a podcast right with uh, I think it was Josh and Rory on. They do a Monday night podcast, and um, I don't know if Josh did a watch along today. I, I didn't really see if he did a watch. I think he's in Amsterdam. Jesus needs needs a lower player rating. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get on the player ratings. And right, let's get on the player ratings right now. Keep smashing that like button. We're on the road to uh, 7,000 subscribers. And um, make sure you do smash that like button. We are 88 away. The way I said 88. 88 away from uh, 6.7K. It's a bit of a huge milestone. But let's try and get 7K by the summer. Uh, have you even watched Gukares? Yes, I've seen clips. And he's crap. Uh, Jesus is dusted. Right, let's do the player ratings. How we roll the player ratings is you guys give a rating of 1 to 10. And then for me, you pick a 1 to 10 in, and then we'll drop the link in the chat. Everybody gets an opinion of the game and what they say, who their man of the match is. And then we call it from there. So, guys, let's do the player ratings. Make sure you smash that like button. Turn the notifications on so I don't have to keep repeating myself. Uh, right, so let's do the player ratings of Man City nil, Arsenal nil. Uh, I read this final comment. Jesus was okay, but he lacked a bit of composure and hold-up play, but a little bit too long incident. Yeah, 100%. Uh, you, Rory, you might as well take my Gabriel Jesus player rating. That's something similar one's going to say. Um, right, of course. Let's do um, the V player ratings. Um, right, we start off with David Raya. <sighs> Raya for me today, the only thing I will say about David Raya is he was very, he was slowing the game down and he looked a bit. There was moments in the first half, right, I felt. David Raya, for me, I just felt like he was slowing the game down. I thought I just felt like he looked a bit very shaky around the box, like near towards the defenders and that. So, and so, but regardless to that, I just felt David Raya, for me, I think five sounds about right because his distribution was very terrible. I just felt like he looked very, very, very shaky. In a game against Manchester City, um, I still need to update Raya. Um, someone will have to show me how to add more players because I didn't make this tier list. So um, we'll give uh, David Raya a um, solid five. Um, right, so David Raya for me uh, sounds about right. I think Raya for me gets a perfect five because. I just think his distribution was very, very, very poor today. I just don't think he wasn't that great. And look, David Raya, for me, he's our number one goalkeeper. 100% he is our number one goalkeeper. Uh, Luca, who who you want us to sign? I'll come back to that question after. after. Um, Raya, six shaky in the first half. It was good in the second half. 100% agree. Uh, big up to FDT, Charlie. Make sure you do smash that. Let's get at least more than eight people watching. There's no excuses. It's Bank Holiday Monday. Let's get at least 20 people watching. Uh, right. Let's get on with um, Ben White. I thought Ben White today gets a six. I think Ben White gets a six. I think the first half, he showed a bit of... He had a few good moments where he was like trying to show, overlap to Bakai Saka. had a couple of good crosses. But he didn't really lead up to anything of all and all that. But um, but Ben White for me, I think the second half there wasn't really much of him in the game. I, I thought the first half he was a lot, lot, lot more better in the first half. I thought there was times where he was running. But right, let's move on to William Saliba. I thought Saliba today, right, was good today. I thought Saliba was all right. He kept a clean sheet. Um, I thought he was all right with him, Saliba. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a seven. Um, Saliba for me was very solid at the back. Had a decent game. Um, kept kept the clean sheet. Can't complain. I thought he was solid. 
yeah, I agree. I, Peppermint Freedom. Hello, mate. How are you? I hope you're good, um, of course. Make sure you do go and share this stream around. And um, Saliba's 10 boss man in the match. He was good today. He was good. He was good. Saliba was good today. You know what? I'm actually going to go with an 8. I'm actually going to go with an 8. I think 8 sounds about right. I'm not giving anyone a 10 because we didn't win the game. Um, but Saliba, for me, gets an 8. He was my man in the match today. I thought he was good today. I thought he was very solid. He bossed that defence. He had Haaland in his pocket. And do you know what the thing is? We've played, oh, was it three games, four games? I don't know. We, I don't think we've not lost a game with William Saliba playing against Man City. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But did Saliba play in that FA Cup game against Man City? Did he play in that second half? Or did he come off? I can't exactly remember. I'll, I'll have to have a look at the game back. Um, it can be done. It can be done, Melina. Melina, you've got over 5,000 followers. Make sure you drop the link and share it in the Twitter space. Uh, I'm good, Luca. Thanks. I uh, hope you're good. Right, let's move on to Gabriel today. Gabriel today was very delighted today with Gabriel. He's enormous with Haaland. Um, I think Gabriel today gets a seven. Um, I think he was all right today. Um, not as good compared to William Saliba, but he dealt with Haaland. There was a good moment in, uh, I think it was the second half. I can't remember. Um, Gabriel today was a monster. And I was watching, um, oh, what channel was it? I can't remember what channel it was, but I think it might have been Del Boys today. And... I think he said Saliba or Gabriel, but he said one of them. I think he might have said Saliba to go out in the team. I th for me, people talk about is Gabriel one of the, is the best centre back out of the whole two out of William Saliba. Saliba's got to be better about, out of the whole two, of course, hundred percent. But I think Gabriel for me has to be part of like one of the best defenders. He's got to get into that team in the season because people talk about Saliba and Virgil Van Dijk. I think Saliba and Van Dijk. If you had Saliba and Van Van Dyke, excuse me, I got the hiccups. If Saliba and Van Dyke were in that team, no one doesn't get that. To me, I think for me that is better than Rio Ferdinand and, and Nemanja Vidic. Hundred percent, it does. Saliba and Virgil Van Dyke is is sounds very very good. We have comments in the chat right now. Uh, Gabriel ten, it can, uh, we're both good today. Gabriel and eight, the whole defense, no chance. Luca, fuck's sake, Gabriel is up for our player of the year. <laughs> Uh, big up to Gabriel uh, Nine Monster of the Year Monster of the Year Monster of the Guy Right Let's move on to Kiva War Kiva War for me Four He was crap And I told you I told you people I told you people Right I said this on Jez's channel And big up to Jez Right uh, Please do give Jez A massive massive subscriber Absolutely amazing content. I'll have to go back and watch his stream after this. Uh, Kiva War, for me, I said on that channel he shouldn't be starting this game. And Arteta, for me, brought Tommy Asu on. Kiva War should, not, should have never played against Man City. But this fucking fan base on social media are saying, Oh, Kiva War's been on good form. Oh, we should play him against Man City. Not when you have Bernardo Silva in it. Not when you have Bernardo Silva in the um, marketing. Bernardo Silva was ripping Kiva War apart today, right? You do not play Kiva War in a game against Man City. You don't do that. Tommy Yasu should be playing, or you play Sinchenko and have Sinchenko sometimes move into the midfield to try and create and 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 allow freedom. Don't play Kiva War against Man City. But we are lucky that we got a point today. And Kiva War for me should not play against Man City. He was crap today. He is crap. In fact, I'm going to give him a free. Getting a free. He was absolutely crap today. And look, I like Kiva War. Don't get me wrong. I think he's done very well since he's come to the football club. But he's not our first choice left back. And uh, if we want to win a league title, Tommy Asu has to start from now to the end of the season. Kiva War for me should be benched. Uh, how do you think Kai Havertz did? We're going to get onto that in just a second. Uh, Kiva War 6 looks very nervous in the first half, but grew into the game to the second half. I think it was poor overall. I think Gabriel's the best centre-back in the league uh, right now, where Saliba is best young centre-back in the world. Possibly. Oh, come on. He wasn't that bad. He was crap. I'm, no, Rory, I'm sorry, but he was crap. Okay. Every single time Bernardo Silva was marking him, he looks very, very shaky. 
he kept giving the ball away in that first half. Now nah, he was crap. Right, moving on to the midfield, Declan Rice. I thought Rice was good today. At times in the first half, I thought I noticed Declan Rice was going to struggle against Rodri. I thought Declan, but there was a moment in the first half where Declan Rice was getting the ball. You know how footballers normally get the ball, they retain the ball, get the ball, go around each other and just pass the ball to, to the next front. That was a very good moment for Declan Rice. Yeah, right. Declan Rice, for me, gets a seven. I thought Rice was solid today. Um, didn't have a brilliant game, but he had a solid game. He um, We didn't concede, so I think seven sounds about right. Uh, Jorginho today. Uh, Jorginho today. Bang average. Probably give him a six. Uh, big up to Jamie Wooten. Hey, you got Sheffield United fan in the, cha in the channel, man. Uh, Jorginho, seven steady game for him. I thought Jorginho, Jorginho gets a six. Bang average. Bang average. Come on, guys. Only four people watching. Let's get at least 20 people watching. There's no excuses. It's Bank Holiday Monday. There's no school tomorrow. Kids are on half term. There's no excuses. Um, right, let me find Jorginho right now. Jorginho for me, six. Bang average. Uh, moving on to, uh, of course, um, Martin Odegaard. I thought Odegaard was all right today. I thought he was all right. He offered Manchester City some cir some circuvin. Uh, he was very very defence splitter. Um, I think he was all right. I think he was all right. I'm not gonna lie. Um, man, that game was one of the most boring games of the season. Utter dross of both. Yeah, it was a poor game. It was it was a poor game. I thought Arsenal were the better were better so in the second half, yeah. Uh Jesus needs upgrading. Yeah, we're gonna get onto that in just a second. Uh Odegaard six final pass was poor. Um he wasn't at the best. Uh happy Easter to everyone. Yeah, happy Easter everyone. Uh Odegaard's good work. Yeah, Odegaard's work rate was okay today, but I think his performance right was very poor. And it's what frustrates me about Odegaard. He goes missing again when it really matters. How many times have we experienced that? Every fucking game. Martin Odegaard, for me, gets a six. He was bang average today. He was all right, but I just noticed he really struggled against Man City's midfield today. I thought Man City, when Man City were pressing a lot in that first half, I really thought Odegaard wasn't really in that game. I really didn't think he wasn't really, he was trying, but I don't think he wasn't really, I think he was a bit poor. Jesus, uh, he needs to be solid, 100%, mate. Uh, yeah, but he's just come back from injury. Uh, but Bakai Saka today. The only thing I will say about Bakai Saka was is, is that, ch that that chance for Gabriel Jesus. I think Saka for me, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him a five. I think it was poor today. I think it was really, really, really poor today. Uh, big up to Mike Green. Welcome to the chat with you. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Happy Easter. Um. I will reply to your Snapchat streaks. Um, Saka for me, five. I think he was poor, absolutely poor today. Because uh, the reason why I gave him a five because he he almost set it up Gabriel Jesus for the goal. If he didn't do anything that he probably would have got a two or three. But I think a five suit is suitable. I think he was poor. Right? He looks very unfit today, and it's a shame for Bakaya Saka because Saka for me, he can't keep up every single game and. This manager for me is relying on Bakayo Saka once again. So this is why we need to go and sign a top winger in the summer. Uh, Saka gets a four, says Peppermint Freedom. Uh, Cameron says uh, four. Uh, Saka, solid, not solid, LOL. Um, Saka six, he looks unfit today. Saka, the worst player in the park. It's very, very, very true. Uh, moving on to uh, Gabriel Jesus. Where was that comment what Rory said in the first half about Gabriel Jesus? I need to try and find that comment about Gabriel Jesus. I think Jesus, for me, threatening-wise, I thought Jesus was probably better. But my only issue with Gabriel Jesus today, I think he was poor, because there was times where he was... When he took that shot and it went wide, he had a couple of opportunities there, but he was he was... Not making a lot of effort. He was like taking too much advantage on the ball. Too much. 
And I just felt Jesus was very poor today. Like the first half, I thought he was better. Aerial-wise, he was more threatening. But I think a four today. I think Jesus gets a four today. I think he was poor. Uh, Kai Havertz today. I don't want to be really, really negative on Kai Havertz. But I do think he was very, very, very poor today because he couldn't get the service today. Um, everyone's saying Jesus six, six, four, six. Havertz is three. Um, Havertz today, I don't really, really want to be that really, really spectacle and be rude or anything like that, but. He was poor today, he, and I have to go with my honest opinion. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Luca, here we go again with your negativity, cunts. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Negativity stuff. Kai Havertz, for me, I'm going to have to give you a free, my friend. I think you were poor today. Really, really, really poor. Big up to George. Welcome to the chat with you. Um, I think you were poor today, my friend. And look, Kai Havertz, for me, has been on really good form recently, club and country, but... He couldn't get the service today, and look, and I know it's not his fault, but I think three sounds about right because I think he was poor, man. Really, really poor today. Um, right, let's move on to the substitutions. We had Tommy Asu, Thomas Party, Trozard, and Martinelli. Martinelli is now back. Um, what did I think of Tommy Asu today? Uh, what did I think of Tommy? 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 Tommy Asu for me when he came on, he, he done okay, he done what he had to do. He put he put in a very but he played he came on in the sixty-sixth minute. Um I think Tommy Asu for me, right? I don't know. I'd probably say five bang average because he didn't really do anything. He did put in a good shift and um, he's, he has just come back from injury. And I would like him to start against Luton on um Wednesday night. Uh, moving on to, um, of course, Jesus is dead. <laughs> uh, Tommy Asu says six, Tommy Asu a four. Uh, question here. Uh, got to say, I think Mikel Arteta deserves a lot of plaudits for having Arsenal as high up and he does it with habits in the time. But we've got a point to him. What we find out if he wins the league at the end of the season, if Liverpool mess up, uh, does Ramsdale deserve to go on the plane to Germany? Yes, but probably not good enough to start for England. Uh, Sinchenko and Gabriel Jesus should be should be finished at, at this club. Possibility, the possibility. I, for me, for me, I would keep Jesus as a backup striker. But if there's an opportunity where you can go for a bigger, bigger, better bunny and a bigger striker, then maybe I would cash in Jesus. No, nah, Jesus is quality. This is his first start. Since, yeah, the, I like Gabriel Jesus, but obviously he's not a goal scorer. But I like his work rate. Where are we? Uh, Kai Havertz is the man. Yeah. Win me the league, mate. And then I'll say he is the man. Uh, moving on to Thomas Party. Didn't do anything. I want this guy gone at the end of the season. Give him a four. Uh, and uh, Trossard and Martinelli. Didn't do anything. Four. Martinelli for me. Came on as a sub. Looked a very, very... Um, Threatening at times, but I don't know. Martin, any for me, I'd probably give him probably five. I think five sounds about right. Uh, bang average, of course. Um, these substitutions didn't really do anything, they just had a part to play, and um, they didn't really do anything. So, that's the player ratings, of course for a, another week of the match reaction now guys we are going to drop the link in the youtube chat anyone is more welcome to come on make sure you do smash that like button turn the notifications on and we're on the road to um seven thousand um subscribers make sure you do smash that like button we're on 31 likes on the video let's get at least 40 likes on the video and um, it can be done. Uh, I would give Thomas Party a seven. Seven? Nah, I'd give him a five. Uh, Trozard a three, not squaring the ball to Martin any. Yeah. Trozard made an impact when he came on. Yeah, I thought he was all right. Bang average. Bro, Party was quality when he came on. 
Uh, I don't know why there's too much hate towards when he when they helped us challenge for the league. Why his kicking was like blindfolding while he's trying throughout the game. Uh, right, we're going to drop the link right now. Make sure you do respect each other in the chat because if any, any any tolerance, you will be kicked out. But 33 likes in the video. Let's get at least 40 likes in the video. Smash that like button. We're doing great on the channel these days. And we do YouTube for fun, man. We want to meet some new friends. I may not upload every single week, every single day, but there's always a content out on the channel every week. Uh, Tony is quality. He's good, but is he Arsenal material though? Uh, does Ram still go on the plane? Tommy is a six. Uh, let's get back to a couple of questions I was going to ask someone earlier. The link is in the chat. Make sure you do share the stream right now. Hello, Mark. How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm good. Hello, Rory. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. So let's, of course, come to Mark, of course. Welcome to the channel. How are you? And, uh, well, Arsenal drew to Man City. We didn't lose the game, but it's kept us in the title race. We got to know. I hope you're good. Hi. Happy Easter. But we'll start off with Mike right now. We draw to Man City. Right, I said this game was going to be a draw from start to finish, right? But for me, the title race is not over yet, but with two points behind Liverpool, what did you make of the performance? Because for me, I thought we had the better chances in the second half, but I thought the first half we were poor. Can you hear me, Mark? Yet, look, I can. I'm getting major feedback. Every, people have got their mics on, so it's really playing back. Can you not hear me, Mark? Yeah. What I'm saying, Mark? Mark? Oh, I, Mark can't hear me. Mel, can you hear me? Right, Mel. Yeah, Mark, I can hear you, mate. You can hear me. So, Mark, what did you think of the question? What I said? Um, just. just yeah, what did you think of the question? What did you think of the question of, are you happy with a point? I'm not happy with the point at all. And the reason... The reason, the reason I'm not happy with the point is I'm getting major feedback. Look, I can, could everybody switch their mics off? Why? Why? Okay, all right. Switch their mics off, everyone, yeah? Mark, can you hear us? can you hear us now? Yeah, yeah, that's better, Rooker. Um, I'm not happy with the point because the first time in, yeah, the first time in two uh, two decades, um, I'm still hearing myself, Rooker. I'm getting major feedback. You get a major feedback. Yeah, is your mic not working? It's my 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 mic is working. I'm just I hear my voice. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I've asked you the question if you want to actually... Um, what's your opinion on the game? The fuck? Right, anyway. Uh, Rory, um, welcome to the chat. How are you? Um, everyone can unmute their things now. So, um, of course... Um, sorry about that, people. And um, Right, Mark, can you hear us now? Mark? Mark? Right, we'll, we'll come to... Mark can't hear us. Mark can't hear... Mark, can you hear us? Hey, look, I can't hear you. Can everyone, can everyone hear me? Yeah. Everyone else can. Mark, it must, it must, be, it must be your mic. Me, look, I'm, look, I'm hearing you, but I'm getting, like, four-second feedback before. Well, that's, well, well Mark, everyone else can hear me. Everyone else can hear me. Mark, try and refresh it and come and come back out again. Try and take your mic out and see. Try and take your headphones out. Right. While 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 he sorts that out, um, can you hear us now? Yeah, I could hear you now. Is that better for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll answer the question again. Sorry about that, people. But Mark, what did you think of the game, uh, the Man City game? Look, I'm I'm really disappointed. Um, Are you happy with a draw? 
a major way to spin you look at, and the reason for that is for two decades I've not seen a national team like we have currently got at the moment time. So I am up, I'm really disappointed. I wanted us to be more on the front front foot against City. Um, I think that this national team could go up against any team in Europe and really pull it off. No more away, I'm not scared of it. As Sir, Sir Alex Ferguson said, we have one of um, Sir Alex Ferguson said, strikers win you games, defences win you titles. We have one of the best defences in the whole of Europe. Today, we nullified the whole Man City player. The only player that we didn't keep quiet to the result with. Foden didn't have a game, the boy didn't have a game. We nullified them completely. And if we just had a little bit more balls, I think we would win that game. Yeah, but for me, look, I think a draw is a good result, but I do think a, a, a lot of people are getting a little bit overcarried away about celebrating a draw. Because for me, a draw is a good point, but now it's put us into a bit of a position where we have to rely on Liverpool to lose a game or draw a game, which is not what we wanted. I think a lot of people did kind of like got a little bit overhyped up over this game where they all thought they were gonna win we were gonna win the game. But we're gonna come to Rory anyway. Rory, what did you make about the game? Um well I think results wise, I think you know we take it. I think it's more of a point gain than points dropped. Um in terms of the quality of football on display I don't think it was a great game at all. Um, I do feel sorry for the neutrals that had to sit through that. Um, but from an Arsenal's perspective, I think out of the two teams, I think Arsenal should be happy with a point. However, I do think we have missed a huge opportunity of beating City potentially at the Etihad because we did create chances. Um, Jesus had two in the first half and then the second... If only Trossard released that ball sooner to Gabriel Martinelli um, in the last, what, five minutes of the game, I think we win. Um, and then, of course, when Saka laid it off and Jesus just couldn't get on the end of it. I think we definitely did create chances and I think both teams really didn't want to lose. I think it was because of the Liverpool game early on today. I, I mean, that game just proved that no team wanted to lose today. And, um, yeah, it was a pretty much a defensive masterclass. thought Ben White right back was superb, had Phil Foden in his pocket. Same with Saliba and Gabriel at the back. They were colossus. I thought Kivior was all right at left back, although he looked very nervous in the first half. Um, got skinned a few times, but second half he was OK. Um, I thought midfield, Jorginho was OK as well. Rice, I thought, was immense. Odegaard, I thought, was all good up to his final pass. I thought his final pass was shocking. I was like, what, why is this guy not being able to string a pass together? Like, It was weird to me. The front three just didn't click. Um, I thought Jesus was arguably the best out of the three. Um, I don't understand the hate that's going towards Jesus, to be quite honest with you. Um, I know... He can be very frustrating at times because he does lack composure around the 18-yard box. He does refuse to take a shot sometimes. Yeah. But those weren't really clear-cut chances. I don't understand why people are acting like, oh, he should have scored them two chances. Well, for me, where... yeah, but, you, yeah, but the thing is, I do think Jesus should have scored that chance from Bukayo Saka because cause when you go back and watch that, yes, it was a good point. The two-point line Liverpool, but it proves... Could that point be if now we've got a hope that Liverpool lose or draw to Man United? Do we feel like we didn't go and get a striker in the January transfer window and didn't sell players to fund to make but up? The who offer? was really available though? We could have got maybe Ivan Tony, but but we but, but Ivan we didn't. Tony wasn't going to leave. He he, no, he didn't wasn't. want to leave in January. He wasn't, but there's got to be someone. There's got to be someone there, surely. Like who? Like, surely there's got to be some striker, some experienced striker. We could have got someone experienced to the end but of the who? season. Maybe someone like Olivier Giroud to the end of the season. <laughs> Olivier Giroud? Well, there's got to be someone out there who's available. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure he's AC Milan's second striker at the moment. Is he, he still is. starting? <laughs> Jesus. Um, but yeah, I don't think there was anyone that was willing to come in right now. I think in the summer, we've always had to wait until the summer to get a striker like an Isaac or a Watkins um, in the summer. But um, yeah, I think the chance that Saka laid off, I, I don't think Jesus could have done a whole lot there. Um, I thought Havertz was again okay but didn't really get any service to be quite honest with you um, and then Saka looked very unfit um, until he came off especially in the second half that man could barely walk and I was like right so he's brought on Tommy Asu and Thomas Partey that's just Tommy straight away that he's you know playing for a point and obviously he brought on Martinelli. I thought Martinelli should have come on a little bit earlier, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. Um, for once, I think the referee actually had a decent game, to be quite honest with you. Like he let the game flow despite the hostile crowd. Can't believe I'm saying that, by the way. But, you know, I thought the ref actually handled the game pretty well. And although there were some questionable decisions that I didn't like, um, for instance, when De Bruyne kicked the ball away, play on. And then when Jesus rolls the ball away, he gets booked. So, yeah, I didn't get that, to be quite honest with you. All in all, I think the performance wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. Um, if we then go and beat Luton on Wednesday and beat Brighton, then we can look back on this result and say, you know what, that's a point it gained. However, if we don't beat Luton... Liverpool lose to Man United at Old Trafford, which is still doable, but it's whether... Yeah, it's a Man possibility. But had Man United really got anything to play for? Because they ain't getting top four this season. They're 11 points off. Yeah, but it's a different breed when it comes to Man United and Liverpool at Old Trafford. Possibly, possibly. But Mel, let's come to you, man. A draw is a I, I did say we were going to win this game. I was quite confident and I did back my team as wow. I always do every game, home and away. I want my team to win and I want my team to excel and do well. Um, in terms of this game today, it was a draw. It's not the end of the world and it was a proper collective team performance. I felt just like Rory said, we were colossal defensive wise um and we were good on the counter attack especially in the second half i felt we were the better team really solid defensive performance by saliba and um gabriel magalis uh defender um i also want to say in the first half ben white some of the crosses he was making to gabriel jesus um oftentimes he he never really gets the credit he deserves or the recognition he deserves so i think ben white in that first half he sh he was one of the better players the first 10, 15 minutes, we did look a bit nervous. Um, it took us a little bit to get into the game and to grow into the game um, in our attack. But throughout the game, we were solid defensively. And that, that showed as we um, held Man City out for a draw. Um, we have the defensive matchup and we proved it today. Saliba was phenomenal today. I think he done really well physicality-wise against Holland. He had six clearances, um, three tackles, one, eight duels, one, and one blocked shot. He was phenomenal today. Um, I know Sky Sports gave man of the match to Saliba. I personally said um, Gabriel Magalhães, but I'm not fussed. It's between one of either of them. And like Rory said, they were both as good as each other. Um, Holland didn't really have uh, any any outlets today. He had one chance for a header, and that was it. I think the clear chance from Man City was Nathan Ake's chance um, in the first half before he got subbed off due to injury, and Rico Lewis came on. Um, and second half, when Trossard had that chance, I felt like Trossard was a good impact substitution when he came on. I wish Martinelli could have came on earlier. I know he had a gash in his foot, um, and he uh, was fit enough to make the bench. I wish that sub could have been made earlier, but hey, to get um, to hold out Man City away at the end, he had to get a draw is not the end of the world. We still have nine games left to go, and I'm I'm confident we will get results. Keep in mind we have to go to Wolves away, Brighton away, Old Trafford away, and Tottenham away. Um, so those are going to be interesting games. 
Um, I do think Liverpool will drop points. I'm not sure which team they'll drop points to. But um, the thing is, will Liverpool drop points though? Because the only I do think Liverpool will drop points. I know they're the type of team to come back and win games, even when they went down to Brighton today, thanks to agent Danny Welbeck. I didn't think that game was going to be a one 0 defeat to man to um Liverpool. I think Liverpool, as we know, we've seen them come back into games and win it this season a lot of times, but. We stay focused on our nine games left to go, and we'll see what happens with Liverpool um, throughout the season. Nine games left to go. Come on, you Gunners, and roll on Luton on Tuesday, where we are sorry on um, Wednesday, where we can um, bring up our goal difference. Um, goal difference really matters too. So if Luton, we can get a high-scoring game and keep a clean sheet, that would be massive for uh, helping our goal difference. And rest some of our key players. Saka went off limping uh, in the game today, so I hope he's rested and doesn't. Apparently, play Arteta said he was the fine. Game. There's nothing wrong with him. Pardon, Rory. Apparently, um, Arteta came out in his post-match interview saying that Saka. There's nothing wrong with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but I'll, I'll, I'll but rather I would him get him rested. To be quite honest with you, I would still rest him and give Reese Nelson a chance. Hmm. I think for me, um, we'll come to Jordan as well, um, and then we'll talk about the upcoming game against Luton. But Thanks. Jordan, not, Jordan, we're no longer top of the league now, so Jordan, you can have your say now. But uh. Jordan, what I will say is, hopefully Man United beat you, because United, for me, right? Uh, no. Cantina, Luca, Cantina, Cantina. Uh, yeah. Jordan, don't worry, mate. We'll be top of the league by next Sunday when Man United beat Liverpool, yeah? You can be top of the league for a week. That's fine, yeah? <laughs> but Just don't Jordan, win in it. But Jordan, but Jordan, what do you make about this game? And a lot of people were a little bit overconfident. Some people were, some people were not. But what did you make about it? Yes, for me, for me, for me, you know, look, um, Gabriel issues. He, he should have scored. Haaland, on the other side, get a chance to head that ball into the back of net, didn't. So, um, the guys should have won the game. The guys have a clear chance of winning the game. No no Kyle Walker, Kevin is back, and uh, the guys draw the game. Kyle, that, that's the big, that, and also John Stones, right? uh, he's also on the bench for City. The guys should have won that game. Um, look, uh, big up to David Rea as well. He's a great goalkeeper, but the guy should have beat um, City. And if the guy did beat City, I think the league is all yours. So, join to City. Yeah, well. Um, I wasn't looking forward to see that happen in the league. Oh, yeah. yeah. Roy has now got 10 clean sheets. I forgot about that. He has. He, he said it. He has. But, Josh, how are you, man? we got a draw against Man City. Luca, stop fucking being negative. Every single, every single game, the Arsenal game, Liverpool game, trying to go. Oh, we're gonna draw. Oh, we're gonna lose. Oh, we've got no chance. When you come out, when you come up and say, "Yeah, oh, um, oh, I'm uh, happy with the draw. We did well." The fuck out of here, man. It's so negative, man. For fuck's sake. Molina is right, mate. So, <laughs> so, so, so fucking flip flop, mate. Positive. Fucking flip flop. I was positive in this stream. I was positive. Positive? positive? <laughs> well, you're right. You. <laughs> How does Luke write and positive go in the same sentence? It's nah, man. They can't run like that. I was happy with the point. I even put a tweet out. <laughs> what my opinions are going to be. Fucking hell, oh, man. <laughs> but not Luke, seriously. Um, <laughs> do you think, well, in fact, let me not ask you, um, do you think we can win the league? Because uh, you're like, no, nah, we can't win the league. We've got no chance. See you on the favourites. You know what I mean? <laughs> if, can we win the league? Depending on the result, what Man United Liverpool next week? Man United Why? Is nothing over this game. So what Man if, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what if Sheffield United put in a defensive masterclass and draw, <laughs> draw? Hold <laughs> up, hear me out, listen, hear me oh, out. Please. Please. Oh, guys, right. Listen, guys, hear me out before you start calling me the leader, yeah? What if Sheffield United put in a defensive masterclass at Anfield and hold up to a draw and 
let's say if that happened and then you know how to go and beat Liverpool, then what? It's not going to happen. But if it did happen, then we then then we'll be back to the top of the league again. And then this draw would mean. Don't forget, we've right? got to win our games as well. We've got to win our games. That's what I said. We have to focus on our nine games left. Yeah, and we have Champions League against Bayern Munich as well. We have we have to have a healthy squad for that too. Yeah, we don't need to focus on Liverpool and Man City right now. Why not? Yeah, but we need to rely on. I think it's Liverpool. We need to rely on Liverpool's results because we're one point clear of Man City, like it was before. We need to hope. Look. If Liverpool are going to smash Sheffield United about five or six nil, we'll beat Luton about the same score, right? And then mm-hmm. for me, Liverpool will be on seventy points. We'll be on sixty-eight. We beat Brighton. We go top of the league for twenty-four hours. We're on seventy-one points, and then we've got to hope Liverpool mm-hmm. draw, lose, and then we'll be top of the league and then go win our last eight games. Because our last eight games after that, the only toughest game I'm worried about is Tottenham. The rest. Why? Why? United away no. as well. Fuck Tottenham, man. Listen, it will be Tottenham 100. percent We we will be wow, Tottenham. Yeah. To yeah. I don't care about why I'm saying fuck Tottenham. Luca, listen, listen, Luca, 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 listen very carefully. Luca, listen, Luca, listen. I'm telling you right now, we will be Tottenham. Yeah, we might do. But what do you mean, man? We we'll beat them, man. Relax. Listen, you will beat them. It's fucking listen. We'll beat them. Yeah. I, I yeah? Listen, guys, guys, see after today, it doesn't matter if we win all of the games. If Liverpool win their games, we don't win no fucking week. No, End don't. off. We don't yeah. at all. And Liverpool have got the easiest running. Don't kid yourself. And on top of that, Liverpool have had an Liverpool absolute Liverpool. crisis. Liverpool have had a crisis we injuries. And they're all coming back. Salah today had about 14 shots of goal and only one on target he scored. He's coming back. He's going to fire. So today, with that game, Luca, and I am, I'm like, honestly, I'm, I'm sorry, I was getting so much feedback. I'm pissed oh, off. For me, we should have went out there and fucking hammered Man City on their own pitch because we are the best team in Europe by a fucking mile. I wanted to empty the empty hat. Oh, uh, half time today. Uh, I honestly did. We are by far, I thought we were negative. Yes, we've got the best defensive record, etc. I don't see us stopping Liverpool, man. Man City are out with this t- title race. But they're out with it. Oh. Liverpool, Liverpool are a team to stop. They will beat Man United. They will smash Sheffield United. They've got Tottenham. Tottenham are wide down to them. And also, one thing that has been missed on the podcast tonight is top five this year for Champions League. Turn them no, get out of the you're, not, you're not going to go to Man City and play football. Why? Why? You, Why? You're going to get battered. But battered? Did you see the squad today? They didn't have a fucking defence. There was no defence. Aki, see, when Aki went off, it was like, opportunity for Arsenal. I can understand, Mark. Yes, it was our best chance of beating Man City because City didn't have a good defence. But, but I think a point's a good result. Why is it? Why is it if we can't... It's not in our hands now. We are relying... See, Liverpool have, have been poor. I, I sat in a bar... In Liverpool, when we beat them 3 1, and I wore this very top, it's got Odegaard on the back of it. People came up to me and said, You've got balls. Fucking right, and I've got balls. And I want to see that from Arsenal today. I want to see that from Arsenal today. Yes, we defended brilliantly, but we should have attacked them. They have got players out everything. We see Liverpool scored a 96 minute winner from fucking Nunes yeah. when he was injured and he came back against yeah. Nottingham Forest. This team, I don't, they're way up in the league. Yeah, yeah, but City, in that back four, had the same amount of players that got them a treble and been playing all season. Walker hasn't really played every game. Other than Gavardiol, that whole back four still played in that treble winning side. It took a huge part in that treble winning side. Did you see our bench today? Did you see our squad today? Apart from having Timber... We had a pretty fit squad apart from Timber. Uh, if Timber had we been... Had, fit, we had, hold on. We, we, had a, we, 
Uh, if Timber had been fit and Katie wouldn't have been on the bench and we would have all been looking at it saying, do you know what, Arteta, we've got this right. So for me, we should have went to Man City today and I put Chester all week. Yeah, we should have played our game this and gave wrong. them a West Ham. And gave them a West Ham. And that's a simple stuff. Gabriel Harfit, Martinelli was on the bench. Declan Rice played full no- a full 90 minutes in two England friendlies that no yeah, one cares about. Bill- I know, which is bullshit. I was raging about that. Hmm? I was, I was raging not to have get done that, Tom. Yeah. Man, Man City players are pulling out uh, the, the friendlies. De Bruyne pulled out of the Belgium squad. Howen pulled out the Belgium uh, to the, 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 the Norway squad. Players don't, do you want to play do anything? Do you? Because international football, we don't want it slight. It's not that good. Uh, the, the international I'm, I'm football, shit. To play fancy football when we clearly had players who weren't one hundred percent fit. They only had De Bruyne. That's it. Yeah, De Bruyne. <laughs> that's it. De Bruyne was poor cool today. We were the better team in the second half compared to Man City. It's as if if Martinelli come back from injury as well. I should have squared the ball to Martinelli. We you know I mean? We've got we a lot of situations in the big games where we've got to square the ball properly. You think about Anfield last season when we should have squared oh, the ball to that. Fair. You've got we've got to learn little situations like that because if you put those chances, you're beating the big teams away from home. That's something. This is why I look at that Gabriel Jesus chance, right? And I want to come to Josh on this, right? Gabriel Jesus thing, right? How can he go and miss that? Josh, you there? Is he there? I don't know. Where's he gone? No, he's we'll gone. He's, he's gone. We'll but, but, we'll I think he's, but, but, but look, someone says we'll smash Tottenham away. Possibility, mate. It's a possibility. But you look at Jordan. Let's get back to Jordan, right? Because I think Josh is gone, right? Jordan, you guys are top of the league now. Which mm. one is your toughest game of the season? Toughest game, toughest game. You've got the toughest. I look at, I look at that. Look, Merseyside derby, eight o'clock. I think that's a Monday night. I think. Uh, um, yes, that's a Monday night as well. I really should have um derby. Um, we should have this derby played before, but it was because we did have a. FA Cup against Manu, so yeah. And uh, yeah, we got kicked out, so yeah. We have a ritual against Everton, indeed. But yeah, Manu, we need our revenge from that FA Cup. So I think we're, we're able to focus on Sheffield this Thursday to Luca. But I think for me, yeah, but the thing is, when you look at that Liverpool run, the only toughest game I say is Man United. Maybe Aston Villa will wait, but Villa might have actually secured top four by then. Yeah. Well, yeah, Villa Park is not that easy going to go to um, Lucas, so that would be tough for us. It would be, tough. It would be very tough. But Mel, have you got anything to say um, about the game or anything? I about think Man United Liverpool. That's maybe a game where Liverpool could drop that is the game. That and is drop the game. points. That's a. Uh... Either that fixture goes 7 nil, or Man United mm-hmm. try to put up a fight. We don't know how that could go. That's 7 nil again. <laughs> but it's at Old Trafford, so... Um, Man United, I mean, yesterday against Brentford, they didn't deserve a point from that. They were horrible the whole game. Um, we have nine United games left to go, but I think Brighton away, Brighton seems to be our bogey team, and... That's where we're going to really we'll have to... Them. We'll beat Brighton. We'll beat Brighton. Yeah. And Brighton we'll are... You don't know which Brighton will turn we'll up. Them. Brighton mm-hmm. haven't been that good this season. No. They've been quite we poor, to be honest. We did didn't we? But at the same time, we lost at home, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's that's really <laughs> and we day. have... And then we have Tottenham away. Um, Chelsea at home. <laughs> oh, Wolves yeah. away. So, okay, can I point you out a amazing start that actually came out today? And I've seen it on Twitter, it's not one of mine's, um, but I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Out of Arteta, Pep, and Klopp playing each other this season, Klopp has managed to get three points, Pep's got three points, and Arteta's got yeah. eight. Huh? 
Arteta's got what? I couldn't hear that. Arteta's got what? Eight, eight, eight points. Eight, eight points. points. Yeah. No, so Liverpool, Liverpool, Man City, and Arsenal all playing each other this season. Say you've got three points, Liverpool have got three points, and Arsenal have got eight. And yeah, that's why yeah. I had chest about going to City and actually fucking beating them. Yeah, but I see this is the thing, Mark. And look, this was our best chance to go on and beat Man City. It right? was, and, it was, looking, it was. This point, we're already two points behind Liverpool at the moment. And for me, we just now got to rely um Liverpool Drop a point. to lose or draw a game. And <laughs> if they beat Man United next week at Old Trafford, I think the title race is done. Despite, yeah. I, I, I do. But I, only, I do, because I don't see them losing any other game. Unless if they pick up more injuries. Not unless they pick up more injuries, but right now, this sort of time falls into the season. Jesus, how, many, how many injuries does Liverpool need to have to be the start of the year? They're playing kids. The, the, the one the Carabao mm. Cup. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Philip Virgil van Dijk. <laughs> the yeah, man, we can't even more. We can't, honestly, the, the, like, I really don't know what else what we can say. Liverpool have are shown extreme. This Liverpool side are shit, and they're still there, and it's not in Arsenal's hands anymore. They're still t- yeah, but at the same time, Liverpool did get a draw against this same city side. You know what I mean? And I think they were lucky that they didn't actually lose the game. So I wouldn't say Arsenal were lucky to draw the game. In my opinion, because City didn't really create anything. I'm not I saying not be well deserved. Jamie, yeah, well, me. I'm not saying not be to be didn't deserve the point today. I thought it was a defensive masterclass, and before it was getting feedback, before that was my fault. Look, okay, apologies. Um, no worries, mate. Sir Alex Ferguson came out and said um, years and years ago that attacks win you games, defenses win you titles. He's one hundred percent true, and we are uh, we have got the best defense in Europe. Honestly, I'm not scared. I would, I'm not scared in the Champions League. I'm not scared in the Premier League. I just yeah, want I'm it not in our hands. I just want it in our hands, and I just wished that we, yeah, our te- uh, our tactics could have worked today. Trossard squares the ball to Martinelli. Martinelli's through. He's playing on the right hand side. I'm not sure why that was. But he's clean through Martinelli. He would, the, the chances are he did, we know what Martinelli can do. But I just wish we gave more. I just uh, look at your your ratings on the players today. I I want more from them. They were great yeah, defensively. We want more than them. We want more. I I did. We were yeah, great yeah, defensively. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we could have yeah, we could have done yeah. them apart from Rodri. Man, we nullified Man City. Folded who? De Bruyne, who? Where were they? We've cleaned out every one of their players. Rodri, Rodri was the only fucking player for Man City today. That yes, had, I, I thought I Rodri was, was Man City's best player today, especially like in that I first part. Too. In that I first part, I thought Declan yeah. Rice at times did kind of struggle to deal with Rodri. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Guardiola wish... was good in the first half too. He was. Yeah. For this me, Rodri, a... we, we had a fit party alongside Declan Rice, which is all hindsight. A party would have sorted Rodri out, and it, didn't like it would have been a different game. But I just wish we went a bit more. Just give me that wee bit more and just make it be in our hands. Fuck Man City. Cheating bastards. And sorry for Miss Wearing Look at, but to, to, like, they'll be in the third division in the next couple of years once these court cases are there. Liverpool are shit. I just feel this was our time. This was our time. Yeah. And it's, it's still there, but this was a great opportunity. The best but opportunity. All pundits, right, are criticising us and saying that Arsenal were a disgrace today. Because we are we hated. The bus. Look, we are fucking they, hated. I don't, I don't think we parked the bus today. I really don't. Because otherwise, how come Man City have left shots on target than us? Mm. Right, right, and also Manchester City fans I love the fact they're crying about the fact oh the referee da, da, da. they don't have a divine right to complain 
about referees when they're literally in their back pocket every week. To be honest, Harlem was lucky to not get a yellow, in my opinion. Mm. How Howen's lucky to have a fucking shot against Arsenal. He's up there with Mbappe as one of the world class players in the world. But seeing with Saka, it's not world class. Yeah, Howen, but also they said um Howen, what did you do today? What have you done against Arsenal in three games this season? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. Our defence is immense. It's immense. I just wish we got that just a that, that, bit more edge today. I really do. I mean, I, I, I love the fact, again, that City fans were saying, um, on my days, Arsenal played like a relegation side. So why couldn't you beat us then? <laughs> to yeah, be no, honest, no. in my opinion, hi, Luca, by the way. Um, no, how are you, Jamie? In my in my opinion, yeah, Harden was lucky not to get a yellow when he um I think he debt Saliba, I believe. He was he was a lucky boy not to get a yellow. In fact, some of the fouls I saw, yeah, were lucky were, were they were lucky to get a escape without a booking. They were very lucky. But we were up against Anthony Taylor today, so I'm actually pretty satisfied that he didn't do anything absolutely rash like he normally does against Arsenal. I actually thought he had a semi kind of decent performance today. I was, I was worried going into the game because Anthony Taylor was the referee. To be honest, I, I, to be honest, I, I was killed going into the game. Because we've, we've been in City twice. Twice. And I said to myself, we're chilled, doesn't matter who the referee is, we're chilled. I thought the referee was actually decent today. What the referee was decent? I think he was. I think he was. I don't think the referee yeah. did really well. Yeah. Well. The bottom of a referee that actually let the game flow, like Michael Oliver, um, last last time out when we played City, when he let Kovacic get away with murder. Who fouled him? Yellow cards. Like, oh my days. I, I, I couldn't believe that at the time. Um, but this ref, you know... When it came to slowing the play down, yeah, he was chill, man. And yeah. um, I forgot to mention as well on my match reaction and on here that uh, Thomas Pye, when he came on, I thought he was quality. And yeah. I think he, he, he should start. You think he was quality? You think he yeah, was... I thought he was quality no. when he came on. It's better, actually. I think Thomas, Thomas Pye, um the, the Thomas Party we know Thomas Party is Arsenal's best player. I would I would actually say when he's fit. But I'm with Luca. He has to leave our club this season. He, he has, has to go. He has to go. We need another. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I agree. We need we need a replacement. But for someone to come on in these sort of games when he's not relied on to start every week, I don't see why we can't keep him. Like, there's not really another Thomas Partey available. The reason we can't keep him, there's a number of reasons, and I hate this from Arsenal fans. He's never had a fit season. We had to send the club doctor away on international duty with him to make sure that he didn't get he didn't get himself into trouble and he wasn't injured. He has allegations against him that are still pending, by the way, and he's never been the same player since. We're lucky if we get what was the reason why we challenged for the title last season. Yeah, Thomas Partey was a part of us last season. He, he, he was, he was, but the, 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 when it came to the crunch, was he there? How many games did Thomas Partey play last season? How many games has Thomas Partey played? More in games. Season? Hold on, more games than the left back that can't defend. <laughs> yeah, to, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I don't think Zinchenko. Do you know what? I'd, I'd actually play Declan Rice at six, and I play Zinni at eight, and I actually think that you would Arsenal would do better. But we're, we're doing this inverted role, and it's not for me to say what Arteta does and doesn't. But well, Partey was playing so, on the right. Sell, back. sell. I agree. Like, sell. Let's no. Because he played two fucking games at the start of this season at right back when when Arteta decided to drop by uh, Gabriel. That is it. Thomas Partey has to leave our football club. He's not fit. I I actually don't think we should give Tommy Asu a new contract. Not fit. Not play this Why? season. Why? I don't think. Why? Because he's not fit. 
Because he played one season. Because he played no. one Well, he's already he signed a new contract. Let me ask you yes, this. Yes, I know. Let me ask you this. 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 Let me ask you this season at left back. He, he's, he's made more impact. Yes, okay, yes. I do get your point, Mark. Yes, because of the injuries. But I felt today, <laughs> everybody everybody wanted Kiverwall to play in this game. He was crap today. And he, I he thought was, Tommy Asu, Asu for me... He was good, but Tommy Asu, like... When you're not relied, when he's not relied, sorry, on starting games week in week out, he becomes useful. Mm. That's why I think if you should have started. But it's not yeah. useful if he's on the treatment table for a third of the season. Like Zinchenko, like Jesus. Yeah. Did no, get no, these players out the really club. Though. He, he get was these players the out the club. club. Do you know something? I, I would sell Saka to go and win the Champions League. I would sell Saka to go and win the Champions League. I, I know no Arsenal fans will hate me for this. I don't care. I want Arsenal to yeah, go on and win fucking everything. I'll do, I'll do the same. I'll do the same as well. I want Arsenal yeah, to I'll, win I'll, absolutely I'll same, everything. You're mad. That's not really referring to any of our points. Like You've just said that Tomiyasu should be sold because he can't Injury. stay fit and Thomas yeah. Party. Yeah. So, so, what do you, so what do you want then? What do you want Thomas Party and Tommy Asu to go out and we still have, with all due respect to them, Eddie and Katie and Reese Nelson on our bench? No. Is that what you want? I'll, I'll do you I'll think we'll win Champions Leagues or, or Premier Leagues with Reese Nelson and Eddie and Katie on our bench? I would, I would, because two, I'll two of these players are injured. I would, no. I'd rather have a one-legged Tommy Asu and Thomas Partey. Let's get Jamie Eddie. in. Let's yeah. get Jamie in this because Jamie hasn't spoken. We'll come back to you two. But Jamie, what do you make about this? Oh, no, no, playing Formula One. Um, flying on tracks. Let, Mark, let me, let me say this now. Let me say this now. You're mad. To sell Saka to win the Champions League, you're mad. I will not I'll keep, keep him. We have next season to win the Champions League. The aim for an elite sport is no, but, no, but to be fair, I'll, he does mean... Would you rather I'll, keep Saka if it means... Sorry, not keep Saka. Would you rather sell Saka if it means winning the Champions League? Say that again? I think he means, you know, if you sell Saka, but it means winning the Champions League, is that what you would rather do? No. You get rid of Saka. No. But then the next, the following it's season, you win the Champions League. Would he's you rather a, that? Wait. He yeah, is how are we going to win the Champions League next season? Because why the Champions you... League rules are different. My man, you're... Why? Well, if, if, if we sold Saka tomorrow morning and then we won the Champions League at the end of the season, then no one would give a rat's ass. No, they wouldn't. But, I obviously, would. I would rather have Saka to win the Champions League based on the fact exactly. he deserves to win the Champions League of Arsenal. <laughs> Because he has single-handedly carried this club on his back from 18 onwards. Like, uh, so look, I would rather win the Champions League with Saka, obviously. But if it means selling Saka to then win the Champions League, I'm taking, but I would rather have Saka in this in this Arsenal team to win the Champions League than without him. If that makes sense. He is our son. You can't get rid of him. I'm sorry. Jamie, Jamie, the point I'm making is like we're all Arsenal fans and we want to be successful. We want to win everything on the yeah, yeah. No, 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 no player is bigger than Arsenal Football Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for so for me, it's the same Thomas Party. Fit, fit Thomas Party is by far the best player that we have at our football club. By far. There's not even an argument yeah, against yeah, Saka. Yeah, yeah, so that's why I'd have him on the But it's not fair. Right. But it's not fair. Yeah, but it's partly better than Declan Rice. No. He is no. better. He is I, better. I, I, than I, I think Rice is better. better. He, he is. is. No, he's no. not. He's, he's not. I feel we've fair. He's solid. Better. Yeah, 100%. 100%. But we <laughs> cannot get that Thomas party. That's the point I'm making. Well, we got we got the uh, Thomas, Thomas party last season when he was fit. But if he's not relied on Stein every week, then like, he, he bangs a long goal in. That's him done. He's injured. Declan Rice, you ain't. I love Declan, Declan Rice. I love every one of these Arsenal players, Jamie. I'm not. I'm not causing anything. I love Saka. I love Saka. I love everything. I love. I love every single thing that Saka does. 
I love the tricks that he's doing back home. Uh, everything. I love it all, Jamie. I'm not saying that Saka is not like the most star boy in this world. But I want Arsenal to win everything. So I'm obsessed. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with Arsenal. Yeah, what, 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 yeah, so what he's trying to say here, Jamie? Hey, we've what? got to have patience with him. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I understand. I'm, but, I, I'm, I'm I'm is, sense here, my head but, is not... but the point is, making sense. I would, I would rather, hold on, I would <laughs> rather sell Saka if it means winning the Champions League. That, that's what we're trying to say. But 100. I would rather win the Champions League with Saka rather than without. One hundred. One hundred percent. We all want our but players. If, but, but if we won the Champions League without Saka because we've got a replacement in, or the, or the Premier League, whatever, then... Then he replaces no himself. Again, give a you, shit. See if you ask it, see if, like, if you go to Twitter or X, whatever it is these days, <laughs> I'd put a post out if it's selling um, ESR this summer. We should have sold them last summer. And I think it should happen. But because because he's there in the same spotlight as Saka, Arsenal fans don't want that to happen. To be like, I think it's, t- it's time to sell. It's time Jamie, to sell. Say your say. Jamie, Jamie, say your say. Go on. I would rather sell him. I would rather sell Smith Rowe. I'm going to sell him. this guy and getting first team football. You get like, 40 million quid out of it. You're making a profit. Out of it. is one of our most important players. Look, how, many it, games has he played, how many games has he played this season? The ESR. I can't probably. Probably like two games. Probably about five on the bench. I don't even need to. Longer he get game time, or sell him, <laughs> and bring another. Right, what's it? Where is he? He's left like midfielder, isn't he? Bring another left midfielder. Oh uh, let me ask you something right now. Because so yeah. you're you're telling me if oh, we come, would rather, come, if, come. you're telling me if we sell Saka tomorrow, but it leads us on to win the Champions League. You're telling me you wouldn't be happy because we sold Saka? No, wouldn't be happy. Serious? Yeah, if we won the Champions League <laughs> at the end of the season, if we sold Saka, I would not be happy. Happy for one Champions League, but if we sold Saka, I won one Champions League. I wouldn't be happy at all. What? <laughs> Guys, this is. I want to get Mel's opinion. Oh, this is crazy. I want to get. I want to get. I want to get Mel's opinion on this. I don't know if Mel's still here or not, but Mel. Uh, I want to get I'm Mel. still here. Mel, what do you make about that? Would you rather win the Champions League and sell Saka tomorrow? Because I Why come. would I sell Saka? This is a stupid conversation. He's our hail yeah. Why I would I sell him? To leave. Thank you very much. The point is, w- would you rather sell Saka, but it then leads you on to win the Champions League at the end of the season? But I don't get it, Rory. Why do I have to sell Saka to win the Champions League? Why can't I win it with Saka? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would rather, I would rather see Saka winning the Champions League. And he League deserves it. He's our hail. He's been with us since like diapers, bro. But this, but this is the point, of Arsenal fans. This is the point of Arsenal fans all across the world. The player is bigger than the club. Right now, I, I honestly, I love Saka. I love these Arsenal players. I love Odegaard. I, I, I do what I love them. Yeah, but I love Arsenal Saka's more than I love these players. players. I love Arsenal more than these players. I won the fucking Champions League. So if Saka goes tomorrow, Smith the Road goes tomorrow, we sell, we sell Saka and we finance Mbappe to come in in his place and we win the Champions League, I'm up for it. Yeah. It, it, it would be a kick in the teeth seeing Saka leave. It, it really <laughs> would. But if it's what's best for the club and I see... You know, a direction or if Saka just wants to move on because he wants to win stuff, then then I would I'd, I'd you, see that. you can't really blame him. No, not at all. No, not at all. If he said to the boss, yeah, Gaffer, I want to move on, we ain't winning stuff. And that came out in the paper, that came out in the paper tomorrow. I would understand that. I would understand but, that. But, but Jimmy, that's a great point that you've just made there. So if Saka wants to leave Arsenal because we're not winning the Champions League, we're not winning the league. We're not winning trophies. He wants to go to you. He's not winning trophies. He wants to go to Real Madrid to do that. 
then why can so why can Arsenal not do the same to Saka? Bear in mind, I don't want him to leave. Like, I don't want him to leave either. One of my either. favorite players. Totally he's overrated. I actually think he's overrated in some games. I Dude, honestly Saka. do. Yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent. I have watched him in so many games. Do you know what I love Saka? And I think that there's more to Saka. We'll get more out of him. And I, I love him. I really do love him. But I think this fan base, he, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if he gets played of the year this year. And he's not even anywhere near it. Saka. 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 Yeah. And he's not even close. He's not even close. He is in the fan base. He is. In the in our fan base, he is. Yeah, because so he's come I, I from here, and he is Saka is everything. Honestly, I think like our fan base take him too far. We take him too. It's too much on him that he is your golden boy. This year, we have got three players up for player of the year so far this season. So far, Gabriel, Declan Rice, and Odegaard. Saka is not even in the conversation, but I guarantee you, yeah, so our funny. fan base. Saka will be voted, and I guarantee you he, he does. What, so far this year? So far this year, yeah. Our three best players are Gabriel, but Saliba will be mentioned rather than Gabriel, Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard have been our three best players this year. Well, Saka scored, like, what, seven goals in nine games, something like that, so far this year? <laughs> Yes, I'm yeah, sure he's seven and seven. So, okay, what's your point? What's your take on this? Our best players so far this year. Me, look for me, right about Bakai Saka. For me, look if Arsenal were winning the Champions League tomorrow, right at Wembley Stadium, and we sold Bakai Saka right now, I would take it because for me, the aim for an elite sport is to win trophies, and for me. Like you want to win the, the Champions League, we all, and we all can, we we all go and celebrate and get beers all around us, and we'll win the Champions League. But but for me, you I you would sell your best player, Bakai Saka, and Bakai Saka, our you best, player. Your best player. That 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 is stupid. But if it does, and then it leads to well, if it comes to an opinion league. like that, you had you had no choice, and yeah, you do. But you don't sell your player. But if it comes to a situation <laughs> like that, then yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not saying I wouldn't. Like Saka's on my phone case, isn't it? Like I, I, yeah. I, I love that guy to pieces, but so do I. Yeah, if... we all do. We all do. But he's. I. I just think that our fan base take him to a new level. Today, no, I've not really seen today, any fan base doing it this to, season. I really haven't. To, 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 I. I have. I have. See today, Saka was a three. I'm not blaming Saka for that. He, he played. For him, well, I actually oh, didn't. He got injured. Saka, Saka was a three today. He was our oh. worst player on the park by a mile. I gave him a five. Uh, he, 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 he was a three. He was a three. Four to me. <laughs> Jamie White. Was a... No, he didn't really get the ball hole a lot, whole lot though, did he? He, he was a good ball to Crawford. But... To Gabriel Jesus. He had to defend most of the time. The same with Jesus. Our wingers had to drop back. Yeah, but Jesus, Jesus was defending in our box for every corner. He was doubling up on the left. That's where he thought Jesus done decent. And um, when he yeah, got so, the yellow card, that changed. It changed. It changed the way that it was for him. He was he was doubling back. Ash, we thought he worked really hard. He gave ten times today what Saka did. Ten times today what Saka. No, but Saka also tracked back. He was up and I didn't one. see Saka. I did not see Saka in the box in our box once today. Saka tracks back to the edge of our box all the time, and he leaves Ben White. Yeah, but he doesn't use. He do leaves it. Ben White all the time, all the time, every game. Not today, every game. Watch it, watch it. Just look and watch. Well, not, no, Saka, do every game. Watch, watch Saka. He does. Saka tracking back. Watch it. He does not come back into our box to help defend. <laughs> Jesus today, Jesus today, Jesus today was helping Kevior. Um, he was, uh, yeah, he was. Um, was it Kevior? Yeah, it was Kevior. Yeah. He was. He was always back. He was always in in, in our box. So he was, um, was helping out as well. 
No, not today. Saka got the ball took off him constantly today. He didn't even did he even make a successful pass? He did, uh, yeah. No, when, 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 because that is the way Manchester City play. They like to utilise their wingers a lot. So Saka had to drop deep to help out Ben White because he knows he can't over um, bloody what's the term? He, he can't exactly deal with two players on that side because De Bruyne always drifts out to the right. The same with sorry, not the right, the left. Um, and who did they play on? Yeah, Foden. There we go. And then obviously they had Foden was smart to the game. Foden was smart to the game today. Back had to drop deep as well. So if you're praising Jesus for the same thing, you've got to praise Saka as well. But, but he doesn't no, do it I, I can't. I can't. I can't at all. Today, the defensive way, I actually thought Saka... I, 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 I actually think that you've, you've underrated Ben White today. I thought Ben White... Whole, held up because of Saka. I ben White was hitting the first half, second half, I thought he was poor. I, 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 I don't think he was. was but, but ben, ben White was quality all game. Second half, he didn't did possibly get forward as much. See, in the first half, see the first 10 minutes when we were under the cosh, Ben White was the only player on that fucking park for Arsenal that had the balls to run forward and actually say to Man City, let's have it. He, he was the only player he had absolute balls. Watch a game back. Honestly, I, I, I was golf smart by Ben White today. Absolute phenomenal. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. But we get we are going to wrap the stream in just a second. In a minute, mm. we have been going. But any final thoughts, Jordan? Have you got any final thoughts, Jamie? Have you got any final thoughts? Or Mel? Move on to the next game. That's what we've got yeah, to do. Let's talk about the next game now. Luton. One thing. We take on the mighty Luton Town, right? Um, of course, they're fighting for survival that I can't see them staying up. Of course, Sorry, can I, say I, th- right? I think they will stay up. I don't, no, think, I, I don't think so. But what's your I reason, Roy? I don't know. I, I look at Nottingham Forest, and yeah, they don't look too great under Nuno. I can't lie. I think they look worse than they did under Steve Cooper. I can't lie. Um, I don't know. I just think Luton have more firepower about them than the rest of the teams that are fighting for relegation. Everton don't look but, like either. So it only takes one result for Luton to gain a little bit more hope. And you just never know. No, I want but, them to stay up, don't get me wrong. Luton, yeah, I do as well. Luton's only down the road for me. And, 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 and the trouble is, right... I would want them to stay up, but I just can't see them staying up because the problem with them this season, they're an entertaining team that will score goals, take the lead. <coughs> you don't know what to get. They to get gave them. Liverpool a one for that money. Yeah. They but, gave Liverpool one for it. The, they gave us a one for that money. They yeah. gave... The trouble um, is they can't I, hold the lead. Luton's a tough place to go to. Don't get me wrong. Hmm. I didn't think we weren't going to come back and won that game at 4-3. When Luton went 3 to up, I thought we were going to lose. I thought that as well. I thought there's no way we're going back. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, let's... Luton have really went for it this season. And do you know what? It's been a breath of fresh air for the relegation side. I want to stay up. Yeah, 100%. 100%. But Jordan, we're going to wrap the stream now. We want to get a score predictions for this week. For this week, mid with midweek games. Arsenal do take on Luton Town, Liverpool take on Sheffield United. So Jordan, give us a prediction for Arsenal v Luton. Um is it at the Emirates? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um I'm going for a 2 0 win. I hope you guys score. Two. I'll be watching I'll be watching it the guys. So yeah. Uh score prediction for Liverpool, Sheffield United. Um yeah um well I'll be doing watch along with just on that day. So I'm going for a two 0 win for us. Could be a Could... Uh Mark, score prediction, Arsenal Luton. Five now Arsenal. Yo uh... Jamie, score prediction. A... You know, I'm gonna say four nil. Maybe four oh. two. <laughs> we're, not, we're not conceding two against Luton. Luton can't score two away from home for shit. 
<laughs> well, they did score three against us last time out. It is, yeah, sure, sure. Did they not score three against Sheffield United? Or was it not the Forest? They scored three against four. Four, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they got beat. Right, Melina, score prediction. Arsenal Luton, 4 0, Arsenal win. Home win. 4 0 sounds realistic, man. Uh, Rory, score prediction. 3 0, Arsenal. I think we'll just have a little bit too much for Luton well, because we love to suffocate teams at home, to be quite honest. Well, score prediction for me, I'm going to go for Arsenal to win. Arsenal to win 5 0 against Luton. <laughs> oh. Whoa! I swear yeah. you've never predicted yeah, five four nil five nil. Nil. at four or five nil. I, I, for me, I think we'll smash Luton. I think we need a response from Man City. It's good before score before fifteen minutes. Possibly, so, yeah. possibly, but but and my score prediction for Liverpool Sheffield United. I think I'm going to go for a four nil Liverpool. Yes, we'll go with you. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's a 4 0? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do, Jordan, because I think Liverpool, I think Sheffield United are, are crap, mate. And they could, like, they were 3 1 up against Fulham. Oh, man, you've got to be lucky, Sheffield, that we're in that bore mode. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You beat them and, then, and, then, and then Man United will beat you on Sunday, yeah? Man United now beat him on a 7 0. Sheffield United are pretty much gone for Chris without you. Man United. Look at. A seven near yeah. Luca. Match reaction yeah. on Sunday, right? When Josh comes back from Amsterdam, when he went away. I think it was him, I come. I think it was him, I come. Oh, yeah. He'll be bringing you up. I think it was him, I come. He'll yeah. He'll be bringing you up. He'll be doing the podcast. Yeah, yeah man, me know, me, 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 what he's doing tomorrow. He's, he's doing the reaction yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, Jordan, do you, need, Jordan, do you need a Man United fan? I, I, I know Sunshine. I know and loads of Man United fans. Hmm? I know loads of Man United fans. Hey, 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 um, give me them guys. Sometimes sun, sun changes. She's busy, and I'm, I'm not sure about Maisie. Like Maisie, so yeah. The guys are going to the stream from here. It's, it is half past 12. It is Easter Monday now. Um, of course, mm. it's, what is it? it's EFL action today. So, oh, look. <laughs> Sorry, let me say something quick. Uh, yeah. two, uh, number one, happy birthday to the Arsenal Talk, which turned two about. On the t- on the twenty sixth or the twenty fourth of March, happy birthday to the Arsenal talk, and congratulations to the Arsenal women for winning back to back Conti Cups. Uh, big up to them today. I don't know what Emma Hayes was doing. To- I don't know what Emma Hayes said to the manager, but I know there was a bit of a push and a shove there. I know that for a fact. But congratulations to the Arsenal women for beating Chelsea one nil an extra time. Congratulations to them. I didn't even know about that until you told me, but thank you very much for that. I did. Okay, you, need, okay, you need to watch it. You need to watch it. It's, um, the push from Emma Hayes is disgusting on our manager at the end. This should get fined. Um, but um, is if, if a man done that to a woman, he would have been prosecuted. It's disgusting. But can we also say today, Bill, yesterday, because we are past uh, midnight, big up Rocky. We miss you, mate, and uh, we're trying to win the week for you, big man, and pray that um, that you watch the game today. Yeah, 100%, man. I want to big up to Arsenal fans for making the banner for that, uh, 100%. Uh, Rocky Woke, Arsenal. Oh, oh on. no, no, no. Don't tell me Saliba's injured. What? Saliba's injured. I've just seen on Twitter. No! Are you trolling, Rory? Are you trolling? No. Are you trolling? Hey, Paul Fools. Hey, you. Come here. <laughs> Dickhead. Ridiculous. Dickhead. <laughs> Dickhead. You <laughs> 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 nearly got me into a rant. You <laughs> <laughs> nearly got me into a rant. Oh, I, I just had to say <laughs> No, no, I panicked. I thought, no way. Who's, oh, can, you imagine, can you imagine if that okay, happened? Right mean now, if you this that week. Again, I would smash my PSPD, mate, if that happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you know what I mean? 
Breaking news, Sheffield United are going to smash Liverpool. But anyway, we're going to wrap the stream from here. Uh, is anyone? Can anyone shout out their channels? Jordan, what well, you Luca, well, Luca, you remember WrestleMania this weekend? Oh, Matthew. yeah, what, what, what are we actually doing for that? Well, yes, best, mate, no, no, I'm doing preview. I'm doing preview, Luca. You're free. You're free. Um, I'm doing watch along Sunday and Sunday. I'm doing watch along for, I'm doing watch along two nights. Let's hope, yeah. let's hope Cody Rhodes beats Roman Reigns and ends the one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and um, the will be we'll doing um Liverpool Sheffield. Wait, look at that. Um, that depends. Liverpool. That depends. Because mm. if uh, night one's a tag team match, if I if I'm correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me know, me, bro, bro, me know, me know we're going that already. Fear as well. I said that. There's rumors. <laughs> um, there's rumors on Twitter. Um, there's rumors on there's rumors on Twitter that try that that. that that there's a tweet called Tribal Chief called Roman Reigns, uh, some Tribal Chief tweet, and um, and says that Reigns is going to retain or something like that. Like, can you imagine the heat if Reigns? Look, 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 uh, uh, and also, I think Jay will be beating Jimmy. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Shocking ship shambles, boys. Has come mm. out already. And then the rest will be boys. But Mel, can you shout out your channel, please? So, um, Hi, I... thanks everyone for having me on the stream today. Oh, um, I'm going to redo my match reaction tomorrow because I felt I didn't talk about it enough. So I'll probably do a tactical breakdown tomorrow, Easter Monday. Well, it's today for you guys. Um, my channel's called Miss Melina. And thanks everyone who tuned in for Luca's stream today. Hit the like button and he'll be doing preview probably for Luton and reaction for Luton midweek. Come on, you gunners, and let's get three points against Luton. Yeah. Jamie, what's coming up on the two year anniversary? <sighs> Muffin, just do a QA. Um, Kamal. Just do Kamal, the QA. Because I couldn't be bothered to make a video. Um but yeah, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do for two years anniversary. I know so I'm gonna do something in the week. I know I'm gonna do something in the week. Um, but I'm also on Twitch now. Shy Peachy Forty Four. Gonna be recording my first video soon. I don't know when, but I'm gonna do it. Hopefully, uh, Shiny Peachy Forty Four on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. Um, yeah, it's pretty much all the social media platforms I'm ever gonna get. 100 percent 100 percent Oh and yeah. oh, man trying to feature 44 on Discord as well. Right, right. But Mark, have you got a YouTube channel, mate? No, I've not at the moment, but it is coming. Uh I do believe it will be coming. So um just um all the guys that are in here that have got their YouTube channels, um is please message me on Twitter. Um I'm only on Twitter, so it's at mark eight uh, slash um AFC Send your links in, I'll, I'll promote it, etc. Um, I, I do love Arsenal content and I love debates. Um, the one thing I, I would like to promote is behind me, picture behind me, if, can you see that? Yes, just about, yes. Is, I'll go a bit closer, is from um, Ruth Beck Art. Um, she's a wonderful person. She's got my house is full of her art. Um, she's a really wonderful person. She does amazing artwork for Arsenal. That picture is actually from Highbury of a guard protecting the director's box um, that Stuart McFarlane took the Arsenal photographer. Um, it's amazing. Her work is amazing. So if you've not seen it, please go over to Ruth Beck, Beck Art. Um, it's, uh, her work is amazing. It's so affordable. It's, it's lovely and so do that I'll promote my channel when it does happen 100% 100% Rory what you got coming up mate um yeah I made um two videos today well I didn't make them today um I uploaded them today um one is of course the match reaction and the other was just the full series on my uh TikTok so yeah um 
this week, obviously, we are playing Luton, so it'll be a match action for that Wednesday. And uh, obviously, <laughs> this weekend, we play Brighton. Do we play Saturday? Uh, yeah, Saturday. Yes. Yes, Saturday, so hopefully there's a match reaction for that. Although, oh shit, I might be going to York on Saturday, so... Ooh, I, I hope How would you do I that? Hope, <laughs> yeah, I hope I'm going to be back for that, to be quite honest with you. Because if I'm not, I'm not going to be too happy because I'll have to go from watching Premier League football to fucking non-league. It's, it's, it's not fun. <laughs> but, you know what? I, I think non-league is the most... No, lower league football is the most entertaining. Lower league football's good, mate. I go and watch lower league football, man. Good. Yeah, but like two non-league, non -league, like th there's a difference there. What's League Two football? Man? It's the best. The... Yeah, I... but non-league is. <laughs> I think Sunday league's better. To be honest, like you, you get them, you get them mad tackles, some Sunday league fights, referees, the old fights. school scoreboards, like yeah. oh god, Sunday league's the best. But guys, we're going to wrap the stream. Content-wise, coming up this week, of course, it's a new week. It is a bright new week. Tomorrow, um, yes, of course, um, there'll be no match day vlog tomorrow for Knox County uh, tomorrow because due to um, I've got work uh, tomorrow, so there'll be no match day vlog. But the vlogs will be back on the weekend when we travel to Forest Green. So content coming up this week. Tuesday, there'll be a preview to the Luton game. We've already got a Luton fan lined up for that, hopefully. Um, Wednesday, there'll be a match reaction straight after the game. And then uh, a Don's log on Saturday against Forest Green. So, of course, I am a bit disappointed I can't make it to Knox County tomorrow. But, it's, but there will be a post-match reaction at some point when I finish work. So, guys, and there'll be a vlog on Saturday for Forest Green. So, guys... Keep posting on the channel, and guys, we'll see you in the next couple of days for a loot and uh, preview. Good night, people. Arsenal got a point, and guys, up the Arsenal, and let's hope Liverpool mess up. Take care. Bye for now. Have a nice. Peace.